losing focus. Don't lose focus. I'm losing focus. You're losing focus. He's getting off the subject, man. We're here for another reason. We're not here to fight, man. We're here to... I'm here to storm. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. We're here to storm the Capitol. Wow, today has been an exceptionally strange day in regards to that odd figure who's on video admitting his plan to storm the Capitol as he incites people to actually enter it. It started out with Ann Coulter reappearing to respond to Vivek Ramaswamy, who was calling out the FBI's attempt to disappear Ray Epps, saying, quote, This has been explained one million times. Epps found out he was on the list and called the FBI himself. He was not caught on camera telling people to go in. Both he and the guy he was whispering to say, he was saying don't go in what folks he was 100 percent absolutely irrefutable caught on camera not only telling people to enter the capitol saying peacefully one time after being called out for being a fed then later admitting to baked alaska that his plan was literally to storm the capitol which he also did on the day of january 6th not to mention admitting to orchestrating the entire thing in text messages to his nephew coulter and folks like destiny would have you believe that he had a sudden change of heart and whispered to one guy not to riot just as the riot started. Also, for a guy rallying people to enter the Capitol, he gets to just call the FBI and clear it all up? No armed takedowns by SWAT teams? Others who did far, far less did receive that treatment, but not Epps. Man, this is some bullshit! She also went on to claim that there was no video of Epps inciting people on the day of January 6th and got rolled for that too, because there obviously is. We are going to the Capitol! It's that direction. Please spread the word. Then I start seeing these stories pop up that Ray Epps is about to get a private sentencing via Zoom meeting and the public won't know what transpired. Oh. Great. I'll be honest, I have no idea how legal or common this is, but it seems like they should know how it would look. So apparently, Ray Epps is now being sued by J6 defendant Eric Clark for, quote, conspiracy to violate civil rights. According to the Gateway Pundit, the Gateway Pundit had a tip that Ray Epps was going to be served with the lawsuit at the courthouse during his sentencing. Process servers were hired by the plaintiff, and our reporters were scheduled to be there to capture the moment Epps was served on video. This was all discussed yesterday in private phone calls. Then. Like magic, Ray Epps' fairy godmother changed his public in-person sentencing hearing to a remote telephonic sentencing hearing. And the judge who approved all of this was appointed by Obama for whatever it's worth. And just like that, as I predicted, during this private hearing, Ray Epps received a sweetheart deal of one year probation, a $500 fine, and community service. And this Obama-appointed judge is a total clown, saying that it wasn't an easy sentencing, and that Epps knowingly joined a mob and entered a wall off area on the day of the attack, but then confessed to law enforcement, helped congressional investigators, and saw his life upended by the conspiracy theories. Notice anything missing there? The part about telling people to storm the Capitol? Right now, I suspect that many of you are thinking to yourselves, but regular people who were peaceful and just walked around or weren't at the Capitol at all received prison sentences. But the guy who's on video literally admitting his plan is to storm the Capitol as he incites hundreds of people is given probation? Yes. In fact, the average J6 defendant sentence is three years in prison. So probation and a fine seem more than a little mind bending. According to the Gateway Pundit legal expert, quote, it seems like someone certainly tipped off the powers that be. This is unheard of. It's also illegal for the government to be non-transparent with a sentencing hearing and hide anything from the public. This is also potentially unconstitutional. I think at this point, you have to accept that Ray Epps was either working for the government in some capacity or that his obvious guilt somehow prevents them from blaming Trump, and that's why they're protecting him. All right, folks, that's all I have, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments and hit that like button on your way out. I'll see you all in the next one.